than me. What is your realization in life? Um, ladies and gentlemen, and the world stop. My rea my realization in life that, um, for, to be honest, I just um, stop my education right now. So I realized that when the pandemic will end, I will going to continue and to pursue my education because I believe that education will be help me to be a better person or a better a better person in future. Ladies and gentlemen, for I know that education is the key to success and a ticket for a better future. Thank you and good evening. Good evening, candidate number two. Good evening, sir. Here is your question. How can you describe the beauty and diversity to a blind person? I repeat. How can you describe the beauty and diversity to a blind person? Thank you so much, candidate number two. I'd like to greet all the people who are here right now watching this one of a kind um, show that we have here in the book village. And also I'd like to thank the um, suppliers, the district suppliers for um, supporting me all throughout this pageant. Thank you so much. And most especially to the, our board of judges who put their effort just to be here right now. Thank you. Okay, is that your final answer or I will ask a question for you, coaches? Okay, just speak the name of the judge. You pick judge number three. Okay, judge number three is from Haliza Michael Gabon Bandoho. Soundtrack. But before I uh, give my question, can we have, uh, can we add volume to the microphone, please? Because, you know, uh, people here can it hear. All right. Thank you. Are we all good? Okay. So your question is this. I love it. So we all know that depression is very rampant on today's generation. Even that LGBTQIA plus is not accepted of that. With that, with that, what are your motivation to continue life in spite of this depression that you have encountered and to be an inspiration to others? You can answer in vernacular or English, you can do so. We can't really deny the fact that 
there are 700,000 people who die yearly because of depression. And with that, as a person who faced a lot of trials and problems in life, I want to be a source of inspiration to everyone who are watching me right now, especially to the whole country, to all the people who can reach this words of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, as far as I know, and as far as I remember, I am a person who faced a lot of trials in life. When I was in college, I am a working student, a student during daytime, and a rakitera during nighttime. I faced a lot of problems and trials during my college years, but it's not the answer for everything. All I have to do is to make my parents proud and always believe in yourself that there is always tomorrow. Everything in this world has its own purpose. When we face a lot of things, it makes us a strong and a better version of ourselves for the years and for the next day to come. So ladies and gentlemen, always pray to the Lord and always give and always um, Put God as the center of everything because at the end of the day, if we have the Lord in ourselves, we can be able to surpass everything, every trials that we had in our life. So ladies and gentlemen, kung kayo po ay nalilito and you are depressed, try to call me and I'm one call away because I believe you are not alone. That will be all ladies and gentlemen. Hi, good evening. Hello. Kaya lang mo man ko siguro. Kaya curious ka man. Kapo. Okay. Ano niya kung question? Subong ha. Kaya curious ka. Kaya pagpang mo sila na kaya pero pero kami ko piti. Okay. Pero kaya curious ka man yah po. Okay, ano yung question? Simple lang niya lang ba? Really, Pedro, ano sa Carlos? In your own description, how do you promote Carlos in some other some other places? Mo lang kita ka simple. Paano mo ipromote ang Carlos sa iba ng lugar? Paano mo pa dayang? Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Naniniwala po ako na ang wikang Ingles ay dapat pagyamanin. Ngunit ang wikang Pilipino ay dapat mahalin. Kaya naratapat lang po na sagutin ko kayo sa wikang Karami. Para po sa akin, hindi naman po ako totally taga-carless talaga. Bago lang po ako dito sa carless. Pero napopromoto po ang carless siguro sa bagay na una, yung mga tao is marunong makisama sa kakwa-tao. Second, malinis ang carless. Third, maka-jot ang carless. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Kapati ka mo, Dabo, karoon sa nagalulupo tayo. Miss Philippines Inspired Gang. Basta kung sabagay ako, ah! Basta pa pa ang pakakaroon na ang pakanta. May tingit ako na sino kakina pa. Ikan yang berjaya. Ikan apa? Susah untuk pampak asal. Sementara aku tidak asal asal. Nanti kata aku pikir kau kamu pikir, dah nanti. Okay, I pick judge number four. Gak aku balik interview lah. You pick judge number four. And that is Mrs. Malo Felix Gregorio. Now. Good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good, good evening, contestant number five. This is your question. 
Do you believe that being a gay is a big mistake? I repeat, do you believe that being a gay is a big mistake? Así que tan seco. For me, being part of LGBTQ is not a crime, nor it is a sin. Stop using God to justify your prejudice. Religion is about loving one another. You're just looking for an excuse to hate. For I do believe that being gay is not a sin. Um, mistake. No, being gay is not a mistake. Uh, for me, as long as you're doing good to other people, then you're already calling this world. Thank you. Okay. Ako naman yung I believe uh, being a gay is not a sin because it's a kalamay. <laughs> Please speak the name of the judge. <laughs> The big judge number five. And uh, may call in Sir Rex Garcia. Nahi mo kunya kasi na si Sig. Sige. Kayo wala mo sa bot. Chef mo rin at chef. Hi, good evening. As a chef, one of my favorite delicacy here is bat choy. If you want all the ingredients of bat choy, why? What's it like why? Okay, um, it will be a sabaw. Why should I say so? Because without sabaw, there's no bad choice. In a sabaw, we all know that very important when you say bad choice. Because always remember that, not always remember that. Wala ang isang bagay, hindi makukumpleto ang sabaw kung wala ang bachoy. Thank you. Psychology is more of a natural feeling of an individual. Since you said that you are a cum laude, so the expectation is very high. Okay, just be the name of the judge. You need to respond to them articulately and... <laughs> you know, I'm not that fluent. My privilege to be charge number eight. None other than our chief judge, Sir Michael Angelo Pitiba. Hello, I'm Gabi. Maayong Gabi, man, sir. Ano ba talaga ni sir? As I said a while ago, it's uh, mixed emotion. Okay, this is your question. If you would be transformed into an animal, what do you like and why? I'm sorry? If you would be transformed into an animal, what do you like and why? Thank you so much for that very intriguing question. In order for you to answer such question, there are two ways for you to be able to answer, the connotative and denotative. When we speak connotative, meaning you are answering fact question. But when we are, uh, but, but uh, when we talk about denotative, you're answering your own question. We're going back to your question. If I were given a chance to to be to be to transform in one animal, what 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 would it be and why? Well, for me, ladies and gentlemen, it's a caravan. Why is that so? Ask me. We know in fact that caravan is our um, national this, animal in the Philippines. We all know in fact, ladies and gentlemen, that caravan helps the farmer. We really need to take in mind, ladies and gentlemen, and I was also raised by my parents with good manners and right conduct and to keep myself physically strong, mentally straight, and morally awakened and to help other people in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a son of a farmer. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I have spoken my sense. Thank you.
Di kawan yang putih kan sarang bau ni mana? Tapi dia dapat desi-desi, dapat kita pun choose ke lang. Apa yang choose bau? Why? Bau style. You know what, ma'am? Honestly, it is inevitable not to feel nervous. But with the support of my family out there, my friends, what is your motivation to life despite the discrimination you have been experiencing? It's okay, ma'am. I understand. Thank you. Let me tell you a story about my experiences. <laughs> Being naive before, I really don't understand what it means to be gay. It is not clear to me the many boundaries between red and pink, guns and dolls, shorts and skirts, princess and prince. Even the tone of voices and the gesture to portray are all vague to me. I never understood why these boundaries matter and why I am at the opposite side of the wall. However, my motivation, despite of that awful situation, I dauntlessly keep exploring myself. That helps me become the person I am today. Someone who is proud, loud, and confident. And someone, someone who is truly accepted herself. And of course, has the willingness to help others appreciate themselves too. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I want the new vintage of the LGBT members out there to look at me and see their faces reflected on mine. Let me remind you before I leave. In life, you are the author and the main character of your story. It is in our hands to decide how our story will end. My answer has been here, I have been spoken, and I love you all. Will you please translate your answer because the interview is uh, Singaporean, I think. Mama Eileen Chow. So she can't understand the English. Just.